Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a five box break of 2023-24 Panini Hoops Basketball. Random team break number six, all card chip, a lot of great stuff here. One spot gets you three teams. Big thanks to this group here. Now there's a couple things going on here. First of all, we had an early bird special, right? If you were the first six to buy spots, you get a chance at an extra spot. Then we pulled out another spot for all eight spots. So all eight, so the, so the early birds, a one in six chance at an extra spot. And for another extra spot, everybody else is involved too, a one in eight chance. So let's do the early bird randomizer first. We'll do two different dice rolls here. One and a three, four times. One, two, three, and four. Francis, congrats to you. After four times, thanks for being an early bird, an extra spot going your way. Now let's grab all eight spots here. New dice, new list, and another dice roll. It's gonna be four, one and three, four times. Name on top gets another extra spot. One, two, three, and four. And that's Greg, last spot mojo, nice. Last ball mojo doing you right, Greg. There you are, and that little rooftop symbol lets you know that that was uh, that was an extra spot that you won. Now, let's triple you up. So I've got 30 spots here total. Let's gather all your names. We'll put the results of the randomizers in sheet one. All teams are in. There's everybody's names. Let's roll it, randomize names and teams. Four and a three, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. We've got Steven Olson down to Francis. And then four and a three, seven times uh, for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Got Bulls down to Mavs. All right, Steven with the Bulls, Bennett with the Nets, Greg with the Wizards, Omar with the Lakers, Francis with the Cavs, Jason with the Jazz, Bennett with the Celtics, Jason with the Suns, Francis with the Pacers, and the Timberwolves, Greg with the Sixers and the Hornets, Omar with the Heat. Steven Olsen with the uh, Raptors, Greg with the Bucks, Hunter with the Clippers and the Knicks, Greg with the Spurs, Francis with the Blazers, Bennett with the uh, Rockets, Steven O with the Pelicans, Francis, you got the Hawks and the Nuggets, Omar with the Warriors, Greg with the Magic, Francis with the Grizzlies and the Kings, uh, Jason with the Pistons, Hunter with the Thunder, and Francis with the Dallas Mavericks. Let's order these alphabetically. And we're gonna pause the video. Actually, before we pause the video, why don't we select which five boxes we're gonna do? So there's five, five, and five right over there. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, and five, six on the dice roll. And you can see with the one right here, it's gonna be the far left side right there. And we will save these for next time. Put that die right up here there. That's the side we're gonna do. All right, and trade window is open. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around, BRB. All right, welcome back everybody. Trade window is closed. No deals were done. Big thanks to everybody here for making it happen tonight on a Wednesday, hump day. Got the uh, Washington Capitals in Los Angeles. They're up by a goal, 2-1 in the third period. My leg has already played today. They, they took care of the, uh, the Pistons pretty resoundingly. In fact, while I rip open this first box, we can whip around the league for today's games a little bit.
Capitals goaltender. And the Caps from center ice, they will get in deep. Alan Scott with a whistle for icing. All right, so you're on Wednesday, November 29th, 2023. Scoreboard here, yeah, Lakers took care of business. They beat the Pistons 133 to 107, giving them a 15th straight loss. It's kind of crazy. That team on paper seems pretty good. I just can't, just can't put it all together. In, because of the blowout, the Lakers were able to uh, were able to play some of the youngsters. So they were able to get, uh, you know, LeBron only played 29 minutes. Anthony Davis only played 29 minutes, but they got to get guys like uh, guys like Maxwell Lewis. He got seven minutes. Didn't score, but got two two assists, two steals. Jalen Hood Shafino in 11 minutes got 10 points, including a uh, a three pointer, three for six from the free throw line. Got a rebound, got an assist. So that's good to see. The Lakers are doing, taking care of the bad teams. They need to start being able to take, take care of some of the good teams. I think it's a Sewer Thompson who's on Detroit. He's their rookie. He had 12 points, five uh, or six rebounds, and a steal. A lot of minuses on these plus minuses, so. They gotta, they gotta work on a little bit of defense for some scoring efficiency or something like that. So they've got some names on there. Thompson, Isaiah Stewart, Jalen Jordan, Cunningham, Jaden Ivey, Marvin Bagley, Livers, Knox, Wiseman. You know, they got some names on there. They just need to, just need to put something together. That'd be good for the hobby if they did. All right, here's our first box. All card ship. Good luck, everybody. Speaking of Asura Thompson, there he is. Duncan Robinson is not numbered, but it's that purple foil. Jason K got the Pistons. You'll get all these Asura Thompsons. Hopefully we'll find some parallels of this guy. And we got Mason Plumlee to 199 for the Clippers. It's gonna go to Hunter. Another purple, that's uh, Lonnie Walker for the Nets. I wish the Lakers had ha been able to hang on to Lonnie Walker the fourth. There's that Lakers rookie we were talking about here. Road to the finals, Michael Porter Jr. to 499, beating my Lakers on the road to the finals. There's a Sewer's brother, Amen Thompson. Both of those guys are supposed to be pretty good. And there's Brandon Miller. We got Bryce Sessenbaugh. We got next insert. Hornets, that's gonna be Greg. And the Amen Thompson will go to Houston. That'll be for Bennett. Was that a red scoop? Well, I think I missed a scoot, Henderson.
I don't think there's a Scoot Henderson at all. Oh, there was a Scoot Henderson, sorry, but not a not a parallel though. There you go, LA Kings tie it up. And there's Darius Garland, uh, not numbered. Uh, Francis, by the way, Portland Trailblazers gets the Scoot Henderson. Vita Zubac, Hoops Inc. autograph for the Clippers. That will be for Hunter. That's for you, Hunter. First auto of the break. Go to R.J. Barrett to 199. Yeah, I kind of wish the Lakers would have kept Zubac, but but no, they, they were they were kind of in a win now mode. And there's a now playing Victor Wembanyama insert. And a presentation's Kevin Durant. Is this a is that a case hit? No, it just says Hoops debuts, attack the rack, extreme team, ignition presentations, or sheesh. To attack the rack in turn. We got our first Victor Wembanyama Spurs. That will be Greg. Now let's see if we can find some numbered cards of his. It's a purple Chris Paul. Not numbered. So Jason Tatum. Jamtastic. And Ignition, Keontae George. Right, so they know gold that, huh? All right, that was the first box, second box. Good luck. See if there's any word on like short prints or case hits or something like that, but it doesn't seem like it. If anybody knows off the top of their head, let me know. All right, elsewhere in the league, the Orlando Magic beat the Wizards 139 to 120. Magic are 13 and 5, 8 and 2 at home. I mean, that Orlando Magic team's looking pretty good. This might be the season. I mean, it's still pretty early in the season. We're only about 20 games in, but this stage of the season, so far, so good. If they stay healthy, man, that could be a really keep growing and evolving, developing, and building chemistry together as a team.
We, can, we might be seeing something special in Orlando. I feel like every year there's that quote-unquote Cinderella team, right? A team that didn't look like they were going to be there, but are now there. I guess my Lakers were probably that team last year, ending up in the Western Conference Finals. Maybe, maybe Orlando's that team this year. Raptors beat the Suns. 112 to 105 in Toronto. Grizzlies beat the Jazz 105 to 91. Someone had to win that game. Uh, Pelicans beat the Sixers 124 to 114. Is uh, I mean, how? I mean, are we feeling good about Zion again? Are 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 his prices increasing on the secondary market? Thirty-three points, eight rebounds, six assists, three steals in thirty-three minutes. Only one foul, only two turnovers, plus sixteen. That's the classic. If he stays healthy. If he stays healthy, strings together a few healthy seasons. Could be, uh, could be hashtag very good for the hobby. And there's a Victor Wembanyama. All of these should add up for the Spurs for Greg. Nice. There's Zion. Nice day for him today. Hopefully rebuilding the value in the hobby. And here's another Victor Wembanyama. And this is, I think this might be the true rookie card, right? The other one might be considered an insert. So nice, all these add up for Greg and the Spurs. And we've got, what is this here? For the Nuggets? Nice, champions. That's a pretty cool card for Denver. It's gonna go to Francis. Not numbered, but still nice. Good, good photography here. Victor Wembanyama, anti-gravity insert. Nice, Greg. Greg got the Spurs. That's Chris Paul to 199. That's for the Warriors. That'll be for Omar. It's Jogic to 999 for Denver. That'll be for Francis.
And there's our autograph. Uh, that's Chumani Kamara, rookie auto for the Suns. Jason K with Phoenix. Isaac Okoro to 75. Francis and the Cavs. All right, two boxes down, another box go. That's right, Rex. Hoops. Hoops. So we'll see if Zion's back, ladies and gentlemen. 33 points for him tonight. Where do we leave off? I think we left off with, yeah, we left off with that Pelicans game. There are only a couple other games after that. Nuggets beat the Rockets 134 to 124. And then the Clippers beat the Kings 131 to 117. If I took away Jordan, Kobe, and LeBron, who would my favorite basketball player be? Hmm. Well, I wouldn't have to take out Jordan or LeBron because they wouldn't be my favorite. It'd probably be Kobe, so I'd have we. But taking out Kobe, Shaq. I think that's pretty easy. Shaquille O'Neal, I think, is pretty beloved in the city of Los Angeles. You know, big public figure. I think people like. I like watching him on TV. Pretty funny in commercials. He's carved out a really nice post NBA career. You know, it's always always active. I don't know how he finds the time to do everything. He's like raising kids. You know what I mean? He's got a great family. They for the most part they seem to be well adjusted for the most part and, and then still has time to, you know, do TNT, do commercials, do, you know, do interviews, documentaries, charity events. He's hosting, he's DJing like Halloween parties in LA and seems to have time for all of these things. And yeah. Oliver, what's going on? How are you? There's Leonard Miller and a Wenbanyama. That's a Leonard Miller autograph. And here's a Wenbanyama City Edition insert. That's for Greg and the Spurs. Autograph popping a little early. That is Leonard Miller. For the Timberwolves, that's for Francis. Yeah, the uh, it's kind of why no one likes the uh, no one likes those back to backs, right? You play an intense comeback. It's Oliver Oliver Sacramento Kings. Then you. you Mark an immense uh, comeback from a, a lot of points down in an in-season tournament game, and then you have to play a back-to-back, -back and you fall to the Clippers. It's Jason Tatum to 199. Right, we got another one, Benyama for the Spurs.
And Tatum will go to Bennett in Boston. Oh yeah, Harden looks like Rockets. I didn't catch the game. We've been watching the uh, Sacramento Kings game here. Here's a Brandon Miller to 99. Nice. <laughs> I'm not intentionally skipping Scoot Henderson. That is, I'm not intentionally trying to disrespect Scoot. There he is. Is Scoot in the G League? I thought he'd be up with the team. There's a Keontae George. De'Aaron Fox. Besides uh, Victor Wembanyama, who are the other big rookies that are selling well on the secondary market? Anyone keeping track of that? I know everyone might not be in basketball mode just yet, but... But I wonder who those, who those players are. Oh, Scoot is in the G League. Brandon Miller? So maybe not Scoot. Maybe I should be slandering Scoot then. Two more to go here. All right, Derek Lively has been playing well. Maybe I'll save some, try to save some Derek Lively cars for Francis. Now, again, we're only, what, most teams have barely played 19 or 20 games this season. But we're about, what, about a, are we about a, just, just short of a quarter of the way through the season? Who are the surprising teams and who are the disappointing teams? What does everyone think? I think Orlando's definitely got to be a surprise at this stage of the season. Nine and one in their last 10 games. 13 and five, second place. Game behind Boston. And they've got a stretch of games in mid to late December that might, that might uh, really show who they are. Yeah, all of our surprising teams. Orlando, Houston, New Orleans, OKC, Minnesota. Yeah, Minnesota, I guess, firing out to a 13 and four record. That is surprising. Things are finally clicking there, I guess. OKC, I don't know if it was too exciting or too surprising just because Jason Jass was so bullish on, on the Thunder. 
Pelicans. Yeah, they're 10 and 9. Houston's 8 and 8. Yeah, Pelicans, I think, they go as Zion goes, I think. I think they saw that in some limited limited times in the last couple seasons. As long as Zion's out there, then they're going to win basketball games. And I think he's here, he's healthy. And so I think that's going to... That's going to mean wins as long as he stays healthy. Houston, yeah. Houston's 8-8. Eight and eight. That's a bit of a surprise. Minneapolis is definitely a surprise for me. Just the way they started the season. But who are the disappointing teams? I suppose the Warriors are eight and 10, that's disappointing. You know, I think people thought Chicago was gonna be better than they, than they were. They're five and 14, you know. Detroit should be better on paper. They're two and 16. 15 game losing streak, that's not good. There's a purple Scoot Henderson. Francis and Portland. Nice to see some parallels. Those uh, those top picks. Hunter saying Scoot's not with the G League. Oliver saying yes, he was. He was conditioning following his ankle injury. Ooh, extreme team, Victor Wembanyama. More for Greg and the uh, Spurs. There's a Brandon Miller now playing insert for Charlotte. That'll be for Greg as well. Nice, Greg. Good randomizer for you. Another Wembenyama. Yeah, I guess the Cubs are the, uh, I guess Chicago sports is pretty, is pretty uh, disappointing. White Sox disappointing, Cubs disappointing. Bears disappointing, Bulls disappointing. Rex, they're getting Otani, of course. That's what Rex is gonna say. Sure, Thompson's been pretty good too. Tyrese Maxey's been playing really well. That's a 199. No James Harden, no problem. They got Tyrese Maxey. And Noah Clowney's your autograph for the Brooklyn Nets. That'll be for Bennett. Kings Live Post Game, presented by Nissan, Patrick O'Neill, and Jerry. 
Actually, the Blackhawks are probably the most successful of the Chicago franchises. Although they were mired with that scandal recently, so that puts a little... Puts a little damper on that organization. Alright, last fi uh, fifth and final box, last box. Yeah, it's I mean it sounds like it. Sounds like the Dodgers are definitely pursuing him, but most likely don't know. I don't know about that. They've got a lot of options. If they if if Chicago if the White Sox ask for too much and try to take advantage of all the Dodgers their rich farm system, I think they'll be like, eh, pass. We don't have to overpay. See us getting Strowman. Yeah, Strowman doesn't seem like, doesn't profile as a Dodger free agent guy to me. Dodgers are generally tend not to sign players that are over 30. I mean, unless he signs like a one or two year deal with the Dodgers, which is unlikely, but. Yeah, they really don't. Dodgers really don't pay the guys that are over 30 for any length of time unless it's very short contracts. And I think Strowman's going to get a long contract. You know, unless, unless that player's Otani. There are certainly exceptions. But not for 5'8 starting pitchers who had uh, finished the season with hip injuries, hip issues. Although they might get Strowman, Oliver. Maybe that's the perfect time to get Strowman. Who's, uh, who went into the season hobbling to the end of the season. And the Dodgers signed him to a one-year deal to see if they could make him a reclamation project. And then he goes off, does well with the Dodgers, and then he signs a multi-year deal later, and he'll be someone else's problem after that. You know what I mean? I can see Strowman going like, all right, what, I can't get a five-year deal? I'll take a one-year deal then with the Dodgers. Maybe stumble into a chip. All right, final box. SGA. It's hard, you know, just going back to when I played, it's tough when you get everybody buying in blocking shots like that. It's so hard to get the net, so you keep passing it. There's a Scoot Henderson insert. You can try to find it. I know that the crowd's going to shoot, shoot, and it's not that easy. You know, you don't want to get a lot of the ball. Yeah, I don't think I was too surprised about Jason Hayward. I think they like seeing... I think they like seeing uh, Mookie at second base to kind of solve that issue. And I think they could get Jason Hayward on the outfield more often than not. You got plenty of youngsters kind of filling that spot as well whenever he needs a rest. And yeah, more importantly, you know, you got to make Freddie Freeman happy. You think so? Well, it takes two to tango, Rex. I don't know how how happy the uh, the Brewers will be trading to the Cubs after the Cubs snatched away Craig Council. Especially since Burns, I mean, Council can't persuade anybody. He, Burns is a free agent, or not a free agent, right? They're gonna have to make a trade. And so I don't think the Brewers, 
It's a nice purple Wembenyama. And I don't think the Brewers are going to be too eager to trade with the uh, to trade with the Cubs. Same with the White Sox, right? I don't think the White Sox would be eager to make the the Cubs any better. Well, actually, that road to the finals is numbered right down there to nine ninety nine. Another Wemby. Here's a scoop. Yeah, if he was a free agent, I think he would certainly have a point. All right, Greg, a purple Wembenyama, another Wembenyama right here. Racking him up. Yeah, if he was a free agent, sure. The non-free agent, unlikely. I mean, unless <laughs> unless the Cubs just way overpay for Burns, which I suppose they could do. Right, yeah, they, I guess they could screw over the Cubs with a crazy deal. And a Chris Murray for the Trailblazers, Rookie Inc. That's, uh, is this... Keegan's brother? An auto for the Trailblazers for Francis. Here's a Dave, uh, Derek Lively, also for Francis. Keegan's twin brother, even. Are there a record number of twins currently in the league? Thompson twins? Murray twins? Lopez twins? Is Robin still playing? Charlotte, that's going to be for Greg. Where is it? Tatum. And we got an Al Horford to close things out here. Fifth and final box. There you go, gang. Quick little recap here. A lot of different Wembys, some colors, some autos, some inserts, some fun stuff here. Didn't see any autos of some of the big, big rookie names, but maybe in the next five box. So check that out. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.